Have you ever wondered about the man who revolutionized the field of mathematics and physics with his theories? His name was Hermann Weyl. Born on the 9th of November, 1885, in Elmshorn, a town near Hamburg, Germany, Hermann Klaus Hugo Weil was destined for greatness. His parents, Anna Dieck and Ludwig Weil, a bank director, recognized his remarkable talents for mathematics and science at an early age. After acing his high school graduation exam, Weil set his sights on university studies. In 1904, he entered the University of Munich, immersing himself in both mathematics and physics. His fascination with these subjects took him to the University of Göttingen, where he was captivated by the works of the great mathematician David Hilbert. I resolved to study whatever this man had written. Hermann Weil, a man with a passion for numbers and theories, was about to embark on a journey that would forever change the course of mathematics and physics. As a young man, Weil entered the University of Munich, where he began his formal studies in mathematics and physics. The seeds of his mathematical genius had already sprouted, and this period of learning was like rainfall, nurturing the growth of his talents. But it wasn't just the broad fields of math and physics that captivated him. There was one mind, one set of theories that truly enthralled him, those of David Hilbert. Weil moved on to the University of Göttingen, where he was not just a student of the institution, but a student of Hilbert's works. He was completely captivated by Hilbert, a fascination that was so profound that he resolved to study everything this man had written. This decision led to Weil spending the happiest months of his life working his way through Hilbert's Zalbericht during his summer vacation, a task he undertook without any previous knowledge of elementary number theory or Galois theory. In the halls of Göttingen, Weil not only absorbed knowledge, but also began to shape it. His doctoral dissertation, supervised by Hilbert, delved deep into singular integral equations, examining Fourier integral theorems. This was an early indication of Weil's ability to prod at the foundations of mathematics, an ability he would continue to demonstrate throughout his career. Weil's dedication to his studies and the influence of Hilbert's theories culminated in him being awarded his doctoral degree in 1908. This marked the end of his formal education, but only the beginning of his mathematical journey. With a doctorate in hand and a mind filled with Hilbert's theories, Weil was ready to make his own mark in the world of mathematics. Weil's first teaching post at Göttingen was just the beginning of his influential career. This role allowed him to delve deeper into his passion for mathematics and start carving out his own unique path in the field. His work during this period was not only exemplary, but also transformative setting a new pace for mathematical progression. One of his first significant works was his habilitation thesis. This was a deep dive into the spectral theory of singular sturm liouville problems. It was a complex and intricate piece of work that demonstrated Weil's keen eye for detail and his ability to explore and explain complex mathematical concepts. This thesis alone helped to establish Weil's reputation as a formidable mathematician, but it was just the beginning. His time at Göttingen also saw him give a lecture course on Riemann surfaces. This course was so impactful that it resulted in his first book, Die Idee der Riemannschen Flache. This book was a groundbreaking piece of work that unified analysis, geometry, and topology. It also introduced the concept of a two-dimensional differentiable manifold, a covering surface, and the duality between differentials and one cycles. This book was a testament to Weil's innovative thinking, and it helped to shape geometric function theory for years to come. It had such a profound influence that it was reprinted in 1997, more than eight decades after it was first published. Weil himself produced two later editions, with the third and final edition appearing in 1955. However, it was the original 1913 edition that was reprinted, showing the lasting significance of this early text in the development of mathematics. Weil's innovative work was helping to shape the future of mathematics, but he was just getting started. His early contributions were merely a prelude to the grand symphony of his career, a testament to his genius and his unwavering dedication to mathematics. From 1923 to 1938, Weil was busy developing a concept that would revolutionize mathematics, Imagine the world of mathematics as an oyster. 
Within this oyster, Herman Weil found a pearl, the concept of continuous groups using matrix representations. Now the term continuous groups might sound complex, but let's break it down. In mathematics, a group is a set of elements that combine in a specific way. When we talk about continuous groups, we're referring to groups that flow smoothly from one element to another, without any jumps or breaks. Now, Weil's genius was to represent these continuous groups using matrices, which are essentially grids of numbers. By doing this, he provided a way to visualize, manipulate, and understand continuous groups in a whole new way. It was like giving mathematicians a new lens to see the world, a lens that made the abstract concrete and the complex simple. But Weil didn't stop there. He took this concept and applied it to the realm of quantum mechanics. Now, quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that deals with the smallest particles in the universe, things like atoms and subatomic particles. It's a world that's notoriously strange and difficult to understand. But Weil's application of group theory provided a new way to make sense of this quantum world. His work in this area was groundbreaking. It opened doors to new areas of research and set the stage for the development of quantum field theory, a key component in our modern understanding of the physical world. It's no exaggeration to say that Whale's work changed the way we understand the universe. But perhaps the most impressive thing about Weil's work is its lasting impact. Today, decades after Weil first introduced his concept of continuous groups, mathematicians and physicists are still using his ideas, still exploring the possibilities he opened up. His theories have become a foundational part of modern mathematics. Weil's work in group theory and quantum mechanics set the stage for modern mathematics, proving his theories were not just theories, but the foundation of new mathematical concepts. Despite his passing in 1955, Weil's influence in the field of mathematics and physics is still felt today. His theories and concepts were so ahead of their time that they continue to inspire and shape the work of modern mathematicians and physicists. Weil's revolutionary concept of continuous groups and his application of group theory to quantum mechanics set the foundation for the modern subject. His work opened doors for future research and exploration in these fields, and his concepts are still widely applied and studied today. Whale's influence extends beyond his specific theories. His innovative approach to mathematics, his ability to connect different areas of study, and his knack for making complex theories accessible, have all had a profound impact on the field. His work serves as a reminder of the power of innovative thinking and the importance of making complex theories understandable. Moreover, Weil's work is not only studied for its historical significance. His theories continue to be relevant in the modern world, providing solutions to complex mathematical and physical problems. His work on the spectral theory of singular sturm liouville problems, for instance, is still widely referenced in the field of differential equations. Weil's legacy also lives on in the many mathematicians he inspired and influenced. His students and colleagues went on to make significant contributions to the field, carrying forward his innovative spirit and dedication to the advancement of mathematics and physics. And let's not forget Weil's seminal book, Die Idee der Riemannschen Flash, which united analysis, geometry and topology, and introduced the notion of a two-dimensional, differentiable manifold. This book continues to have a profound influence on the development of geometric function theory, testifying to Weil's enduring impact. Hermann Weil, a man ahead of his time, forever changed the landscape of mathematics and physics with his revolutionary theories and concepts. His legacy is a testament to the lasting power of innovative thinking and the profound impact one person can have on the advancement of a field. So, the next time you find yourself pondering the complexities of mathematics or the mysteries of physics, Remember Hermann Weil, this extraordinary man, born in the late 19th century in Germany, dedicated his life to unraveling the intricate threads of the mathematical and physical universe. From his early academic journey, captivated by the brilliant mind of David Hilbert, Weil developed into a mathematician and physicist of great renown. His contributions were many and significant. His early work on Riemann surfaces set the stage for modern geometric function theory. He then revolutionized the concept of continuous groups, 
applying group theory to quantum mechanics and thereby establishing the foundation of the subject as we know it today. But beyond his academic achievements, Whale's legacy shines brightly in the realm of intellectual curiosity and rigorous pursuit of knowledge. His life serves as an inspiration, a reminder of the beauty and power of the mathematical mind. In the grand scheme of things, Herman Weil was not just a mathematician or a physicist, but a visionary who dared to see the world through the lens of numbers and theories.